First of all, I just gotta apologize for not uploading consistently prior to part three of my Arsenal series. It's because I've just been on holiday so far. And um, I hope to bring you content consistently from now on as well. And if also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to leave that like and also subscribe to my channel. That'd be massively appreciated from you guys. I've just had a couple of weeks off YouTube, but I should be back now co uploading consistently and producing high quality content for you guys. You know, I just really appreciate if you guys, you know, just took a couple of seconds out, your, out of this video and just left a like on this video. That'd be massively appreciated. Can we get up to at least 10 likes this video? You know, your guys' support and your appreciation means a lot to me so far. You guys have shown me, definitely. You know, in this episode, we're starting a game against Liverpool. At Anfield. Let's have a look at their lineup. It's a chance for us to get three points as well in the league. Because we've been pretty poor this season. Three games and it's two points. Not good at all, is it? And it's a chance for us to get a result against Liverpool. Carrier starts in goal for them. Klein, Matty, Van Dijk, and Robertson as a back four. Milner, Emre, Chan, and Henderson. Oxo Chamberlain, Roberto Firmino, and Sadio Mane. And also, if you guys want me to play other games, maybe like a Fortnite game or something, because I was spending a lot of my time on Fortnite, like getting better at the game. Like games like Forza and stuff like that. You know, just let me know, right? And I definitely do walkthroughs of other games as well. I'm just, I just had that thought in mind. And if you guys want different games on this channel, maybe Fortnite Fridays perhaps, or Fortnite Thursdays, then just let me know. But Obamian coming forward. He turns away from the defender, plays out into his mess with Ozil, but Robertson cuts that out. Good defending from Liverpool there. Aaron Ramsey coming forward. Ramsey Aubameyang turns away from the defender, shoots deflected corner. It's our first chance of the game so far with Aubameyang. Look, Valverde Van Dijk does absolutely brilliantly to get a block on that. It's going to be a corner for us. Jordan Henderson hoofs is clear. Hector Bellerin uh, put that ball back in. Mesut Ozil plays that in towards Thorgan Hazard, a new signing of course. Thorgan Hazard towards Ramsey, this is good football, Robertson just out muscles in the, at the death. Mkhitaryan coming on the attack, Ozil. And Mkhitaryan scores. That was a brilliant ball that towards him. I just had to answer the text there for a second. That's a, that's a great incisive ball towards Mkhitaryan. And Mkhitaryan tucks that away into the back of the net. Arsenal 1, Liverpool 0. Look at this great incisive ball. Lovely incisive ball. From Mkhitaryan driving run. And he drives that into the back of the net. No chance for Loris Carrius there. Into the back of the net. Carrius beaten. There's nothing he could do about that. And it's Liverpool nil, Arsenal one, and we've done it. Twelve minutes in, and we've scored. And Henrik Mkhitaryan scoring that goal for us. Super player so far. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. It's Mane. Sadio Mane coming forward. Hector Bellerin plays that in towards Ramsey. Heart of the midfield so far. He's been very good. Granite Xhaka in towards Mesut Ozil. Mesut Ozil. We're going to make a change so far. Mm. No, actually, we'll keep the squad the same. It's working, definitely, for us. You know, we're looking quite good in the attack, so why bother changing, to be honest? 
Roberto Firmino. Emre Chan towards Roberto Firmino. Emre Chan coming forward again. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. Sadio Mane Roberto driving inside. Roberto Firmino turns the defender, shoots, and Ospina saves. Good stop from Ospina there. It's a top save from our Colombian goalkeeper there. Look, Roberto Firmino shoots, catches, almost catches the keeper out there, but a good save. Corner for Liverpool to, for James Milner to try and take. James Milner takes this. Emre Chan hoofs is clear. And Joel Matip intercepted by Mikitarian. Virgil van Dijk plays that in towards Roberto Firmino. Oxley Chamberlain. And so, a simple save for David Ospina there. I mean, Liverpool have had their off chances so far. They've been decent. Mesut Ozil gets played through. Mesut Ozil is going to cut that back towards Thorgan Hazard. Thorgan Hazard towards Aubameyang. Shoots and a good save from Loris Karius there. Palm that away. And now Aubameyang coming forward again. It's a lovely reverse ball in towards Mkhitaryan. Aubameyang plays a reverse ball in towards him. Aubameyang shoots and he's missed the target. How is he missed the target by there? And he's waiting to try to pass towards him and he's just missed the target. That is poor. He got his soul far away from the keeper's bottom left. Aubameyang with a good save from Mkhitaryan. 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 Aubameyang with a good save from Mkhitaryan.
and he smashes it home into the back of the net. No mistake by their captain, the English talent. We had seemed to be stuck in <sighs> Particularly disappointing there. He's been their key asset for this team so far. <laughs> and now Mkhitaryan coming on the attack. Can we get ourselves a goal back? Aubameyang. Henderson cuts that out. He's a very good defensive midfielder as well. And I'd like to know from you guys how Henderson will do this season. I'm quite intrigued to know how he'll do. Now we've also signed the likes of Conor Plank as well on a, on a freaking bargain, man. Plays that ball in towards Mkhitaryan who scores on the 90th minute in. Mkhitaryan scores a brace. It's a great finish towards him. He gets in behind the defence and he's just placed that home past the keeper. Good build of play there. Bamiyang plays a lovely reverse ball. Cute pass. Gets away from the defender as a fantastic finish. And it's Mkhitaryan scoring the brace, making the massive difference that we need. He's that midfielder, that creative asset in the team that we want. He's making the positive difference here to get us at least a point against Liverpool. You can see Matip, Matip absolutely devastated well, to concede. Level again in the game. Anything could happen. Robertson. And that's full time as well. That Very pleased to get a point against and Liverpool, considering the here. fact that we're going to lose, drop all three well, points there. The but at Anfield, we get a single point. But, you know, transfer deadline day is nearly f over now. And we're going for the likes of Benjamin Pavard and Salis Sane as well. And Felipe and Lengle who's obviously recently moved to Barcelona in real life. But Salis Sané has obviously got himself a release clause of £19.5 million. Pounds. This is just a few days before deadline day starts. I'm just trying to get another central defender in. Because we sold um, our defender in Natural Natural Montreal, you know, as a swap deal for Conor Plianca, which I'm delighted for, actually. But they want £15.9 million. Pounds. We're going to be competing in all competitions this, this season. FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, the Champions League. So we do need another centre defensive midfielder. And who better to bring in a backup in Salis Sané. He's actually really good in the game. So We're offering £13 million plus a 5% selling clause. And they have accepted it, Hanover 96. And we should hopefully be able to sign his contract there. We should go for Benjamin Pavard. I think he's recently joined. Stuttgart, but I'm not too sure. He's had a breakout season for France so far. He can play at right back, central midfield, and CDM as well. So, which makes him a very valuable asset to the team. Felipe as well. He's he's kind of experienced. He's a very experienced defender. 30 years old, so he could decline in the near seasons. But I think it's still a great season. I've used him before in my Watford career mode when I played him offline. I mean, Longley is a very good player as well. He's recently obviously transferred to Barcelona, but let's delegate this, mm, actually, what should we do? We'll go in for Felipe, see how much we can get him for. He could be a decent player for us as well. Probably, like, um, I think he might be like 80, 81 rated or something. But let's offer a player. Hmm. Yeah. Jordi Asi Tutu. I'm sorry for butchered the name. I don't really know how to pronounce these players' names. Let's offer another player. Maybe I'm not too sure who to offer. Maybe Zalalem. Mm, they want a better fit for the squad. I'll just offer a straight amount. Maybe 12 million pounds for Felipe. Oh, this is completely blind, by the way. I'm not too sure. And they have accepted that much for Felipe. That means I could potentially overpay for him, but. Let's hope so not, because Felipe, you know, I can't remember exactly how much he got in for him in the Watford series, but mm, I think he's like 80, 81 rated, because I did the Watford series on the start of FIFA 18 career mode, and Benjamin Favard, let's delegate the player purchase as well, let's see how much they want, uh, the French defender. <laughs> We're just uh, progressing through to the from the transfer window, and Felipe and Salisane are looking forward to contract negotiations. Well, so far, we've spent a lot of money, and how can we be struggling in the Premier League? I'm not too sure. 
It's kind of a surprise to me, to be honest. We should do better. Transfer offer for Granite Xhaka. And breaking down negotiations for Benjamin Pavard. That's disappointing. That's definitely disappointing. Because he's a gr good player in the game as well. He's like 76, 77 rated. A 29 million pound offer for the Swiss international in Granite Xhaka. 24 years old. Obviously, I'm going to reject that. Because Granite Xhaka is a super player. He's only 24 years old. And 82 rated. The Swiss international has got a lot to prove in this team. So, he could be a key midfielder for us, I think. We'll go into a transfer hub and sign nego negotiate a contract with Salih Sane for his services. A secret player, CDM, centre back. I think he looks quite intriguing to me. He intrigues me quite a lot. So. Let's offer a four year contract for Salih Sane. Disregard really his clause. Actually, I'll propose one. See how much they'd like. 40. I want 27.5. I'd obviously make a profit from this, but I want a little bit more than that. Let's hope this doesn't affect the contract negotiations. That's fine, that's fine. Salif Sane, see how much he wants on a contract. Um, I think because he plays for Hanover 96, maybe 40 could be a bit realistic. 30 is a good offer, actually. Oh, this is quite low. 48 is negotiable, that's fine. Salif Sane is a very decent midfielder. Let's get rid of his appearance bonus and maybe duck down his way just slightly. But again, it's a very negotiable offer. Considering the fact that in the Premier League players earn double, if not triple. Mm, let's offer him a little bit more on the signing of bonus and less on the wages. 52, okay. They've been a bit Hmm, okay, let's offer, yeah, let's accept that, £52,000 a week, and that's our new signing in Salif Sane done, it's a superb signing actually for us, it's actually a really, really good signing, with the transfer deadline day finished, you know, the clubs like West Ham have offered a bid for uh, David Ospina, you know, we've just concluded the uh, the summer transfer window and we've got the bids in for Ospina after that as well so mm, even though he's my current starting goalkeeper you know I don't mind sending him, selling him in the winter window you know, I'll get the money in the winter window I can still use him as a backup and Petacek will start from now on if Ospina leaves but as the transfer window concludes up next we've got Bournemouth I think yeah, yeah it's definitely Bournemouth yeah I've checked in the calendar in Bournemouth. We've got them in the. You can see we've had a really poor start to the Premier League campaign. Three games and two points. Not what you guys expected, did you? Not what I expected either. I thought we'd do a lot better than that, but we still got time to turn it around. We're doing a bit of training as well, having a bit of positive results from there. But you know, the Premier League campaign is what we need to focus on for the season. You know, Swansea, the likes of Swansea. You know, not surprising to, for them to be in the relegation, but it's a massive surprise for me. But overall, this year in career mode, you've seen the likes of Man City in the Chesnall Gaming Channel. On that first Southampton series that he did, when um, Liverpool got relegated in the first season, it was just laughable. Uh, but next, we've got a Bournemouth today. in the league. Bournemouth's so starting lineup it consists it of Begovic, Smith, three, Francis, Cook, Garcia, and Daniels, Charlie Daniels. I've also yeah, done a career mode with Bournemouth as well. Harriata Sermon, Stanislas Defoe, and Mark Pugh. That's actually a decent lineup. It's a chance for us to get three points for the first time in our league campaign. It's really crucial for us to try and win this. Rafael Guerrero plays that into his mess at Ozil. Ramsey towards Aubameyang, it's a good ball in towards him, he gets away from the defender, he shoots and he scores. That's exactly what Aubameyang deserves the payroll that he's getting. He's a very influential striker for me so far. Look, he gets away from the defender, uses a bit of a jealousy, uses a bit of acceleration, spins the defender and he smashes that home past the keeper, no chance for Asmir Begovic. 
It's a super strike from Aubameyang there. It's a fantastic. Just the way how he turns. Great ball towards him. This leaves the defender for dead there, the number five. As you can see, the number five just darts away from him and giving Aubameyang so much space. And he tucks that home top corner. It's a sweet finish, that is. It's a sweet finish. Aubameyang, the key player of the squad. And if he continues his form, I can see him getting at least 15, 20 goals for us this, this season. Which would be a massive achievement for him as well. But it's the Lib Bournemouth 1, Arsenal. Bournemouth nil, sorry. Arsenal 1. Six minutes in. And we've punished them for their mistake. Harry Arter coming on the attack. Harry Arter plays that towards Stanis Lass. Junior Stanis Lass. And Ozil Ramsey. It's a good ball in towards Aubameyang. Tried to feed him through, but Dan, uh, Garcia cuts out there. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. We're doing well so far. Granite Xhaka again plays that in towards Ramsey. I've got slightly longer highlights for you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Junior Stanislav. You know, in the next episode, you know, as we progress from the transfer market, you know, we've progressed so far with three games. Hopefully, next episode. But as Stanislas comes very close to scoring from a Bournemouth shot, it's a great one too. With um, was that Mark Pugh? Mark Pugh, can he stand the ball up there? Sermon. Stur uh, Sermon. Plays that in towards Mark Few, dances around the defenders. Great defending from Salih Sane, good stop from David Ospina there. David Ospina makes a save and we'll clear it there. Bournemouth, what a chance. 17 minutes in and they create two chances. With Junior Stanis that hits the crossbar, hitting the crossbar from Mark Few's 1 2 pass and play. And now Mkhitaryan coming on the attack. Bamiang. Pierre Emerick Bamiang plays that in towards Granite Xhaka. We should hopefully be able to win this. Pierre Mikko Bamiang. Oh, I tried to feed that through to the right midfielder there. And now, Granit Xhaka intercepts there. Dorgan Hazard in towards Ramsey. It's a poor pass in towards uh, Sermon there. And now, Jermaine Defoe to Harry Arter, Sermon. Again, Bournemouth coming on their attack. Stan is last. Shoots and Harry Arter misses the target. Harry Arter should have scored that there. He should have buried that. That was a great one to pass and play. He's just missed it. He's fluffed his error there. He's fluffed his shot. That was a great chance for Bournemouth. I mean, Bournemouth have definitely created chances. That was a sh that was a scare of a shot there. And that shot goes flying past the post. And we're lucky to survive there. That was a fantastic opportunity for Bournemouth. And now Mesut Ozil coming on the attack. Pierre Emmerich Aubameyang. Ozil, can he shoot? No, he's going to play a lovely reverse ball towards Aaron Ramsey. Aaron Ramsey gets into behind the defence and he scores. He scores a second goal of this, out of this game so far. Aaron Ramsey just uses enough pace to get in behind the defence. Again, another assist for Aubameyang there. Plays a nice ball in towards him. Now, actually, he's messing with Ozil getting an assist. And Ramsey tucks that away. It's a fantastic finish. Very composed finish into the back of the net. Come on, Arsenal 2, ball of nil. It's a really good start so far. And now we're making the three changes. Lacazette, Michel Weiser coming on the right hand side. And now Messi Ozil to take the delivery. Andrew Sermon clears. And Jordan Ibe coming on the attack for Bournemouth. I think they do deserve something from the game. They've been really good so far. They've come on the attack. They've tried their absolute best, but just not had the luck in front of the goal so far. Not had the luck in front of the goal. Conor Plianka plays that ball in towards Guerrero. He keeps that ball just in play. And Francis plays, lofts that ball forward. Koscielny has been quite good so far. Conor Plianka switches that ball with a lovely pass in towards Michel Weiser. And Michel Weiser lacks the strength. Charlie Daniels just, just enough there. And now they're going long ball so far. Bournemouth are trying to spread the play out so far. And it has quite worked for them. They have got in behind my defence a few times, but we look quite solid so far. Right, Xhaka, the Swiss international. Lacazette, the French midfielder, the striker, sorry. Lacazette shoots and he's missed the target. 83rd minute in to seal the game. Alexandre Lacazette, he has a shot. That's exactly why Aubameyang is starting. He's just that more creative, more clinical in front of the goal. 
I've had, I've given Lacazette some chances. He's a very good attacking player, but I don't know to be honest. I don't know who to start. You know, from the league form, it's clear to see that Aubameyang will definitely start. And but I'm not sure from you guys what your opinion is. So feel free to let it, you know let me know in the comments for the players that you guys let me want me to start and the lineups as well. Garcia towards Defoe. Defoe stands the ball and Osirina punches away. Andrew Smith plays that towards Mark Pugh as a shot over the bar. The ball goes. And if you get a three points here, that will be our first opening three points of the season. And it'll be very important if you can get it. Laurent Koscielny plays that ball. Just get it away. Hoof it away. Anyone will do. And Granit Xhaka should just clear the lines. Minute plus stoppage time from the referee. Cook plays that over the top towards Jordan Naib. And we're just moving the ball around so far, Ozil. And this should hopefully be the end of the episode as well. And if you guys enjoy, don't forget to leave that like and also subscribe as well. That'd be massively appreciated if you're new to my channel. You know, if you guys are enjoying this series, just leave a comment and leave a like as well. I think our target should be at least hitting 10 likes this video. I know you guys can do it. It shows me all the support that you know I'm receiving so far. You know, when you guys show me the support, it just makes me smile, man. It really does, actually. From a new YouTuber like me, you know, getting support from you guys, it just brings a smile to my face, man. Honestly, reading your guys' positive comments as well. Just leave it coming, guys. You know, I'll obviously respond to you guys as well. It's a 2-0 victory against Bournemouth. Ramsey getting the Man of the Match award as well. Nine shots, five on target. It's a very close game. Up next, we have a Champions League game. Brighton lost to West Brom. Oh yeah, I forgot to do the relegation as well. So I just started the series without doing anything. So West Brom are still in my Premier League campaign. Which is quite hilarious, but that's fine. Mm. We're training the same players. I'm just over training these players. To try and get Rob Holding to as high raises as possible. So he can be a capable centre midfielder. But... Thanks for watching guys.